surroundings. Do you remember how much you spent on prom? Seems early to start talking about it, but get this. The average money spent on the big dance is more than $900. Our Jobin Paniker, well, he's never been prom dress shopping, but he found a deal you don't want to miss. Hi. Hi. Come on in. If you could measure emotion, this would be the perfect spot. There's been a line for the dressing room, so if it, you see it growing, hop in. At the prom closet at St. Andrew United Methodist, 4,200 dresses are donated and are now options to anxiety-filled teenagers. Watch her transform from everyday kid to princess for a night. You're going to go get in line and try them all. First Sergeant Charles Page is with JROTC at Roosevelt High. He drives girls here, been doing it for years. Re-energizes me as a teacher. It's a commitment, so it's not just not a job for me. Let me see what you're about. He's also helping his wife find dresses for girls who couldn't make it. I just told my wife, you know, she had me trained well. <laughs> Two exchange students from Germany and will experience their first prom because everything about prom they know. I mean, just from movies. Yeah, <laughs> movies. But movies don't tell you proms are expensive. Devra founded yeah. this and hears those tough stories. Like the girl yesterday who lost her father weeks ago and found her dress here. Instead of getting a piece of jewelry, she's gonna wear his necktie with it. It is all emotional. Courtney is realizing her daughter is growing up and this may be the last big event. That's something I think we're all coming to terms with. Teenagers mostly cannot choose their situation or their privilege, but they can choose to be happy. Let's see yours. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm so excited for you. Their smile. Look at her, her smile. And you'll see that when they find the dress they come home with. In Plano, I'm Joven Paniker.